Hello everyone and welcome back to another TSW suggestion video. Today we're going to be talking about the London Underground again. This time, the District Line, the last of the subsurface lines I have to cover as a part of this series. If you enjoy this video and agree with the suggestion, like the video and the DTG forum suggestion and subscribe to the channel for more content. The District Line is a subsurface line of the London Underground. Its line has multiple termini and multiple branches along it. The different termini are Ealing Broadway, Richmond, Wimbledon, Kensington Olympia, Edgware Road, and Upminster. This would give players a very good variety of services to choose from. You could operate a service from Richmond to Upminster, then a service from Upminster to Ealing Broadway. The line has 60 stations on over 40 miles of track. Some of these stations are shared with the Piccadilly line, which runs alongside the district line from Barron's Court to Acton Town. In this section of track, the district line makes all stops while the Piccadilly line runs express, stopping only at Barron's Court, Hammersmith, Turnham Green, and Acton Town. If DTG can get some AI 1973 stock or make some modifications to the 72 stock to put some AI trains on the line, it would make for a cool playing experience through this section. The Piccadilly line isn't the only underground line the district connects with, as it runs along the circle line between Edgware Road and Tower Hill, and with the Hammersmith and City line between Aldgate East and Barking. The district line also connects with the London Overground at various points along the line, mainly around the terminal stations. It connects with the district line at Upminster, Barking, and runs along the district line between Gunnersbury and its terminal at Richmond. Now I know that we don't have any London Overground trains in the game right now, but in the future, if a London Overground route is created for the game, I'd like for some of the trains to be layered onto the line to add some more service to these stations and make it more realistic. The same goes for the Hammersmith and City and Circle lines, which could be added to the route since they use the same rolling stock the district line does. This would make certain parts of the route much more busy, giving players a better operating experience by not having it feel like you are the only train on the line, and by improving the experience of playing as a passenger, since they will see more trains more frequently at stations similar to real life. Most of the line runs above ground, however, the shared section with the circle line between Edgware Road and Tower Hill is mostly open cut and underground. Needless to say, players who don't like traveling through tunnels a lot have little to worry about, being that this would not be too similar to what the Baker Lou line provided. Talking about the joint section with the circle line, parts of it are under CBTC and ATO operation. This means that the onboard computer on the train takes over operation of it. This is similar to what happens on the ICE when you turn on both AFB and LZB. Fortunately, the whole district line isn't automated giving the driver full control of the train at certain locations. ATO can even be turned off on the train by putting it into restricted manual, operating the train only under CBTC supervision. Depending on the time period this route is set in, CBTC and ATO would be non-existent. The two time periods this route could be set in are 2014 and the present day, changing the rolling stock that will run along the line and some of the operations. Moving on to the rolling stock for this line, the aforementioned multiple time periods of this route come into play. We have 2014, which would allow for the C, D, and S stock to run along this line, and present day, where only the S stock would be included, however, with the inclusion of CBTC and ATO. DTG could have two different timetables, similar to the rapid transit route, to include the three different pieces of rolling stock. Now let's get to talking about the actual rolling stock. The C stock, designated the C69 and C77 stocks, entered service in 1970. They were first constructed in 1968 by Metro Camel to replace the O's and P stock on the Circle and Hammersmith and City lines. In 1977, more units were constructed. These designated the C77 stock to replace the old stock on the district line. The C69 and C77 stock are near identical to each other and they were able to run in combined sets. These units ran until 2014 when they were replaced by the S stock. 
The D stock, designated the D78 stock, was constructed between 1978 and 1981. It was originally constructed to replace the O, P, and R stock on the district line. They entered service in 1980 and ran until their retirement in 2017. The S stock, constructed between 2008 and 2017, is the newest train in the London Underground system. Three variations of these units were created. These variations are the S7, S7 Plus 1, and S8 stock. The district line uses the S7 stock. These three variations have minimal differences between each other, like the S7 Plus 1 and S8 stock having an extra car, and the S8 stock having a different seating arrangement from the S7 stock. These trains have major improvements over that of the C and D stock, such as air conditioning, the possibility of ATO operation, and regenerating brakes. The district line, being a subsurface line, is one of my favorite London Underground lines. It has some cool rolling stock, an interesting route and service pattern, and it doesn't run underground for majority of its route. It would be a fun route to operate along in TSW, and I hope it comes to the game in the future. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see the district line in TSW2, like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. Peace.